Hello friend, this is Ryan Hicks of TalkToProfit.com and today I want to talk to you about how when you whine and complain and murmur and do all these things, your prayer is already answered. And that is the prayer that you're putting out there. Because your faith is not for the goodness of God, it's not for His grace, it's not for His abundance. Because what is your focus on? What is your, the feelings and the thought of your heart always leaning towards? The things you're whining and complaining about. God works by faith. He works through faith. Faith which worketh by love. You can't have a person who is whining and complaining about something be strong in the faith. Because they're out of faith at that moment. It may be a temporary thing and then they get back into the faith. But at that moment, the thought of their heart, the prayer of their lips is one of unbelief. You can use all the right words. You can use spiritual words and flowery language and think that you're somehow impressing God. But when the thought of your heart is one of unbelief, that's your prayer. And you can't receive anything of the Lord in that case. You become one of these people who's tossed about to and fro like a wave of the sea by other people, what they're believing for, what they're acting out and enacting in their lives that somehow flows towards you because you're no longer in control of your life. Now, the reality is, whether good or bad, you're choosing and creating the life that you're living. It's not God's fault that your life is the way it is. It's not the devil's fault even. It's not your neighbor's fault. It's not your wife's fault. It's not your husband's fault. It's not your kid's fault. It's not your boss's fault. It's not whoever the person is you can blame. If it's some group, if it's the government, if it's whatever, your life is your life. And it is the culmination of your belief and the action you took on those beliefs that got you to where you are. Now, I know many people will look at their life and say, well, but this happened to me. I didn't have any control over that happened. This thing, this person did this to me and all these things. And that may all be true, but if you have given over your power to other people so that now you're blaming them for your life being the way it is, in the end, that still goes back to you because you made that choice to give over your power to them. You know, I think back on my life and some of the mistakes I've made and some of the failings that I've experienced. And looking back on them, I can see exactly where I could have done something differently. This is important because sometimes people just see, well, what, what happened? How did this happen to me? And they only try to see the exact thing that caused that failing or that problem. But I want you to think about this in a more powerful way. Instead of the exact thing that caused that, what about the thing that led you to even getting in that position in the first place? You know, someone will say, well, this person stole from me. This person did this wrong doing to me or whatever. They caused my business to fail. Okay, why were you around them in the first place? Now, this is not about blame. This is about us taking control and having power over our own lives instead of casting the blame on everyone else. Standing up and taking responsibility doesn't mean that to blame yourself or demean yourself because your life didn't go the way you wanted it to so far. Rather, to start taking responsibility for what's going on in your life so you have power. Your power is not given over to anyone else. No one else is in control of your life. No one else is making the decisions for your life. When you're walking with God, you're choosing the right path and you're choosing to walk the narrow way with Him, you'll make the right decisions. Other people do not control the outcome because you walk with God your co-creator with him and by thinking only good thoughts only lovely thoughts only praiseworthy thoughts only things of good report you bring about the life that you want and here's the important thing no one else can stand in your way when you're operating by that faith you can speak forth boldly those words and decree those things you'll never have to give forth another prayer that's whining and complaining and murmuring because you know exactly what to resolve 
and how to get yourself back on track, walking with God, operating by faith, which works by love. And my friend, when you do that, your life will change for the better. You know, it's not good to go through life feeling that other people have control over your life and how it goes and how the results turn out. That's a bad position to be in. And that obviously would lead to whining, complaining, because you feel like you're a victim. You feel like you don't have control. You feel like you're just aimlessly being thrown around by people more powerful than you, by people who have somehow this power given to them over you. Meanwhile, the only power they can have is the power you allow them. And that's a hard lesson to learn. But when you understand that all power comes from God, that he is good and loving, and that you're in control of your life and the way it goes, other people can do whatever they want, but you have to be responsible for your own life. And if there are people in your life who do not bring you up, who drag you down, who degrade you, who cause bad things to happen in your life, and I'm not talking about an accident or something like that, these are people who are consistently bringing negativity into your life. Stop being around them. Now, I do want to step back a couple steps from that because first make sure that your heart's right. Are you expecting the best from them? Are you looking and trying to see the divine spark within them? Are you expecting goodness from them? Are you expecting kindness? Are you expecting love? Are you personally looking at them with a loving heart? Because if you're not doing those things, then before you even start blaming them, make sure you're doing the right thing to them. You're thinking the right thoughts toward them. You're not expecting the worst. You're expecting the best. You're not expecting problems. You're expecting good things. Because if you do that, that oftentimes will just sort out those issues going on with that individual. And if they refuse to make changes by the gentle leading of the spirit, they will just go out of your life. Naturally, you won't have to throw them out of your life. They'll naturally go away because people like that don't want to be around positive, upbeat people. And if they do, it's because they're going to make the changes that they need to get themselves to be the high vibrational person that you are. But you can't have another day where you go to God in prayer. That's a prayer of unbelief. That's a prayer of complaint. That's a prayer of murmuring. That's a prayer of whining because you have to recognize the glorious grace of God in your life, the power that he's given you over your life and take responsibility for that. Stop giving it to other people and make sure you're doing the right things, walking on the right path and living the glorious life that you deserve. My friend, I pray this is a blessing for you. May God bless you richly.